she is. You're the Dark Priestess, the Demon Dragon. Why do you block my path? What? I have been instructed to lead this world. I will bring peace. Why do you bar my path? You're wrong! Peace at the cost of humanity is hardly any kind of peace at all! The man who ordered you is gone! You can stop! You have no reason to fight! None of us have reason to fight. I feel that eons ago, I had heard those same words. Soft words, like a warm breeze. But that was a long ago. I have slumbered for far too long. In the darkness I dreamed. An empty dream. Black. Colorless. But I am awoken now. His Majesty willed it so. His Majesty! Zephyr! I am awoken. I have left the darkness of my dreams. My path is now lit. I know what I must do. I will lead this world. No matter how much time must pass, that is my duty. You insist on fighting us. As long as you stand in my way, you well seems unbreakable. My will is his majesty's. I awoke for the purpose of fulfilling his desires. Whoa. Okay. Do we have to fight? No matter what happens, I will protect Lord Roy. Whoa, there's something you don't see every day. I will protect Lord Roy with my life. For everyone back in Burn, and for Gale. Concentrate, Roy. This won't be easy. This is it! The power I've been searching for! If we take our time, we can win. Now is the time of truth. I have the Blade of Harmat, who took pity on you and spared your life. Everyone, leave the final blow to me. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. We got war dragons with elixirs because Jesus Christ, their HP is ridiculous! And then we have Edun herself with 78 HP! The demon dragon with the dark breath. And look at her fucking defense. It is capped. Dark breath, though, calculates resistance as damage instead of defense. Oh, and there are unmarked tiles here that do raise resistance by 10, so yeah, that's cool, I guess. So, we're gonna just, like, go in, and pray to God we don't die in, like, 0.5 microseconds. Uh, uh, okay, we can move, like that. We're gonna move Roy, like, up the middle like this, so we're gonna have him just kind of lead the charge towards Edun. We're gonna have Milady come over here, equip Maltet. I gotta be careful with the uses on that thing. I've only got nine left. Walt's gonna hang out behind Roy. Purse will go like this. Cecilia will hang out behind you. Faye, just stay back a little bit. And Alan can kinda go like that. I'm expecting Deke and Douglas to take the brunt of the first. Oh, crap. Oh, it's crit. Jesus Christ, that did a lot. That almost killed- I got plus two HP for that level up! Alright, good. I think I wanted you to hit. This is gonna hurt, though. Jesus Christ, they do a lot. Good. That's a lot of experience. Oh no, Edun doesn't move. That's great. How much do I do to her? Eleven! Well then! Alright. We definitely need to do some damage control. I'm gonna move up Faye. Douglas a little bit like this. Boy, Stephanie, gonna move up. 
Nobody's gonna go up. We're gonna get some healing going. So let's heal up Faye, first off. And whoever I have go for Edun, I'm gonna set up Barrier beforehand. Because by having Barrier up, hopefully, it should reduce the damage she does to me by at least a hopeful little bit. I don't know how much exactly I'm gonna avoid, but, you know, let's hope. So let's physique up Deke. Good. And then we'll have our cavalry, have our paladins kind of slide on up. Oh boy, hi there. Oh wait, you're gonna kill me, man, aren't you? It's a good thing I gave you those items! It's a really good thing I came for those stat raises, those HP boosting items. Alright, fortunately, she can't hit you for more than one space away, so put that into account when you plan out your offense. How much do I do you? 13. Zero. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go with Apocalypse. Oh, hi, you dude. Music though. Okay. Well, I didn't do much. All right, Deke. How much do you do to him? Twenty-six. Okay, so we're definitely gonna set up a barrier beforehand. Raise your resistance some more. Because if I can get a hit off with Deke, if I can get a hit off with Walt, I'll get to see if Roy can do the finisher. So, Faye can't reach you. Douglas can, but he's literally dead. Yeah, he gets doubled, and she has an 8% crit chance. So, Deke. 26. She does 32! That's dangerous! Get her, Deke. Okay. Ow. 39. You know what Roy does like no damage or we're literally doomed? How much do you do? Wait! He can kill her right now! Alright, Roy. Finish the job. Don't miss or I swear to fucking God. So there's a reason why I wanted to finish the job with Roy. You get a better ending. So yeah. I am alone in the dark. I am alone in darkness. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Oh boy. Oh no, the sanctuary is collapsing! Everyone, hurry outside! Roy, I'll be fine. Now go! Lord Roy, you are unarmed! Yes, but the sanctuary is gone. It was over a thousand years old! A great deal of energy was released in the battle we fought! The Foundation's probably couldn't withstand the pressure! Yes. Today marks the beginning of a new era! Who is that you're carrying on your back? Oh yes. Melanus, I need to ask a favor of you. And 
And thus, the war known as the Disturbance of Burn was resolved. Following Burn's surrender, its government was dismantled with the insurrect support of the Kingdom of Etruria. Okay, this is going by super slowly. With Roy's help, Guinevere inherited the throne and the new Kingdom of Burn was formally established. And on the day of her ascension, yeah, what about the day of her ascension? So we get more? Because I got the best ending? Princess Guinevere, you have my congratulations on your ascension. I thank you, but my battle is just beginning. I'm sorry. I wish we didn't have to rely on Etruria. Not at all. I am grateful th for their support. There will be those, however, who think I only joined Etruria to seize the throne. Princess. But the most important task at hand is Burns' reconstruction. I must regain the people's trust through my efforts, no matter how long it takes. If there is anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you again. Perhaps I will someday. Roy, are you? Yes. What will you do? Will you stay in the Etrurian army? No, I must return to Ferry. I am concerned about my father's illness, and we must begin the reconstruction effort. You are returning home. I am sure that's for the best. Still, some of your ability could easily take a place in the Etrurian court. M me I don't think I deserve such a position. Ferry is blessed to have such a gifted heir as you. Your Highness! Please call me Guinevere. What is the matter? Yes, Lady Guinevere. The ceremony is about to begin! Thank you. I will be there shortly. Roy, will you come with me? M me Me? You have helped me with so much ever since I left Burn with the fire of in hand. I want you to see the path Burn will take under my leadership. Of course. If you have, will have me, then it is my pleasure to accompany you. Then come, this way. Let us see a new bun, and the beginning of a new era. Later, in Arcadia. Oh, Lord Roy! It has been far too long! I was in the alley, so I decided to stop by. Faye will be glad to see you! I saw her earlier. She's even more energetic than I remember. We all held her outside, Smyrna, since her return! Perhaps that is why. How is Eden doing? We succeeded in restoring her soul, and yet... She's not back to normal. Faye sometimes takes her outside, but she'll do nothing but help first being told to! I see. Lord Roy! We have known for long that she had been captured by the dragons! I feared the consequences of leaving the village! However, so I forbade them any effort to rescue her. No, though, I wonder whether my judgment was correct. Perhaps the humans are changing the way I think. I will do my best to restore Eden's heart and soul. You have my gratitude. As a first step, I want to see her express some form of emotion. It would be a good sign she could buff. I mean, it's progress. I managed to restore her soul, at least, so she's not like mindless slave. And whoops, tree. Right! And this tree has tasty fruit! Fruit? Yeah! And you see it? It's up at the top. This is all playing automatically, I'm not pressing A. And if you shake the tree, like this... Ow! I fell on my head! <laughs> Eden? Did you just laugh? Laugh? This is a laugh. Where's Roy? I had to tell Roy that- Roy that you laughed! 
god she is quite energetic. Huh? A warm breeze. Oh, in the credits! Okay, cool. So that's it, man! That's the real ending! I wonder what the ending is like if you actually, like, you know, kill her. Probably not as good, but, you know. We got the best possible ending. Well, sort of, even though I got, like, a good chunk of my units killed through various different purposes of stupidity. But, you know, we'll see all those when I make the death montage, and that's gonna take, like, 50 eternities. Oh boy, that's gonna be great to make. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be pretty bad. The heroes who saved Ellie Bay. Oh, we get the thing. Roy returned home to rebuild the lands in Lycia that were ravaged by the war. He was always popular with the people and was well remembered long after his tenure as Marcus Ferry. Oh, so it's gonna come go like one at a time, I guess. Okay, or not. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit, I guess. But this is normally the part where I say what I wanna say. Oh, wait, never mind. After returning to Nevada, Faye was never heard from again. Many historians are skeptical that she even existed. Well, I mean, you know. Wow, zero losses because she didn't die. <laughs> but I do have to say one thing though. If this is your first time playing the game, do the Ilya path. Just seriously, just do the Ilya path. It's so easy up until chapter 20. Chapter 20 is probably the only point where you'll have trouble because you want to get Juno. But otherwise, Ilya path is not hard at all. The S path literally whips your ass sideways and throws you off a cliff, and it's not fun. And, yeah, it wasn't that great. Wolf returned to Lycia with Roy to assist him in rebuilding their homeland. Although many hardships stood before them, Wolf unwaveringly supported Roy and led Lycia to prosperity. Oh wow, that's cool. But yeah, do the Ilya path! Like, seriously, just do it. Just listen to me. Even though I've said some things that are probably bad and stupid, but seriously, just do the Ilya path. It's it's easier. Easier. You like easy in your first playthrough. Because, you know, you're not getting screwed. And there's an arena in the Ilya path. Oh my boy, Deke! Deke broke up his mercenary band and set out to travel on his own. Independent. He fought in various battles and left many tales in his wake. Of course he did. My boy Deke, as always, putting in the finest of work. Wait, is it also going to talk about the units I didn't use in the finale? Because, you know, they kind of didn't do much of anything. Then again, Alan and Percival were literally just there as placeholders. So that way, I had someone to cart Roy around because he didn't do, like, anything in that chapter. Because Roy's movement is kind of trash in a game with giant maps. Upon returning to Ferry with Roy, Alan assisted his lord in rebuilding the trampled land. His fiery passion and powerful will were inspiring to many. Boy, Alan, though. Look at those 342 battles. Jesus Christ, dude. Got him in a lot of fights. I can only imagine how bad my tactics rank is going to be. It's probably going to be terrible, considering I kind of stalled out turns a lot. But, whatever. I guess that's how it goes. My girl, Melanie, though! Melanie returned home with Guinevere to rebuild Burn. Her unbounding will and hard work earned Guinevere due respect, and Burn began to regain its former prosperity. 147 wins. Wow. Jesus Christ, I didn't use her nearly as much as I thought. Okay, so who else do we got? Uh -huh. Cecilia returned home and helped rebuild Etruria. Her calm judgment and leadership directed Etruria to prosperity again, and she came to be known 
as the daughter of Etruria. I mean, Cecilia did put in some work, I guess. She still kinda sucked, though. Not gonna lie, she still kinda sucked, though. But it's probably because her stats were kinda like, lackluster. But that's just my opinion. I mean, hard to believe I didn't lose anyone in the finale. Considering what happened during Blazing Sword with you-know-who. Athos. That guy I already lost my amazing pre-promote. Try as he might to retire from the military, Douglas received unending requests from Etria to come back. Unable to refuse, he returned to the palace to lead the Etrian army once more. <laughs> this man just wanted to retire and it's like, oh no, we need you. Brick wall Douglas. So we're gonna get one about my boy Percival? Because Percival put in some work too. Yo, know, I have no idea how I'm gonna split this video up. I'll think of a way, but you know, right now, while the threads are rolling, I'm trying to think about it. Nime returned to her secluded home in the mountains and continued her research. It was rumored she solved many of the world's mysteries, but she left no records, no none can know for sure. Ah, how sad. She comes and puts in work and then just goes back to the mountains. Okay, so who wants to do that? I mean, I know we still have Percival. And... Oh wait, we already covered the world. Oh, there he is! Percival returned to Etruria and eventually became the next great general. He led a glorious tenure and was remembered as the very model of an honorable knight of Etruria. I mean, he was a good knight, I'm not gonna lie. Like, let's be real here. Alright. So, who else was there? On my pay. Oh, it's just giving me images. Oh, look! All units, I got killed in some way, shape, or form! Can't forget about those! Cause making an hour long death montage sure ain't gonna make me remember. And the staff of Super Smash Bros. Melee? Well, I mean, I know Roy's in Melee, but still, that was kinda random. Oh, and there's Zephyr. Even though I didn't use Roy at all against Zephyr, because, yeah, Roy kinda sucked. The Super Mario Club! Because, of course... Are we gonna get any more cool images? No, we're just gonna get more credits. In which, I read the name Junko and I immediately think of Danganronpa. Shigeo Takada? Okay. I don't know any of these names at all. Oh, and there... I think that's Guinevere. All right, so... Uh, uh, Nintendo Intelligent Systems. Even though this game was only released in Japan until fan translation happened. All right, here we go. Moment of truth, boys and girls. So, up till chapter 10 is where everything is going to be the same as the other path. So, let's see how badly I sucked. Chapter 7 I had to redo on this file. Chapter 8... Oh my god. Chapter 10, 26 turns! Chapter 11, 17 turns! Oh my gosh. Jesus. 24 turns to Chapter 14, that's... That's stalling. 24 turns to Chapter 16. 18 turns on 16x. Oh my gosh. And there's Chapter 20s. And there's 21, which is literal hell. And 21x, which is not even bad. And then, look at that straight 30 turns. And then the finale only took three and nine minutes. Wow. Almost as long as it takes me to beat Grima in a standard Awakening playthrough. It only takes me like two turns to kill Grima, to be honest. Oh boy, here we go. Uh-huh. I got B in tactics! Oh! <laughs> of course, survival's an E. EXP is an E. Wow. Uh, power. Wow, I'm getting a shitty rank. I got a C! 
And yeah, the not true ending probably got a B! What? That's so unfair! Fuck you, game. Oh, we're gonna get the, the rest of the units. The ones I didn't use in the final battle. So I guess they still get their moment in the spotlight. By Quarian, who returned to Truya. And Saul, who became a missionary. And then we get to look at all the units I got killed. Except him. He helped rebuild Ilya. And then Shad worked to help build... To build orphans! No! Help orphans! You don't build orphans! Yeah, and then Elfin died in Chapter 21. And so did Quain. Chapter 21 was just cancer, overall. Nothing good came out of that chapter. And then Juno died too. And Ellen died the literal chapter before Hell on Earth, where she would have been really useful. I could have had a white tone user at the end of the damn game. We opened his trade routes. We're not going to talk about how I got Rooker killed, because I'd rather not talk about that. That was terrible. Oh yeah, he died too. And so did him. Chapter 13 was a terrible time. Like, we all know how bad Chapter 13 was. Like how Raga died, and so did Tate! As I said, all those years I got killed. Cause Shauna's dead too. Oh, and Lelina's too, because, you know. I mean, Gonzalez is still around, I guess. So match if I get, manage to keep Lelina to the end of the run. I mean, Sue lived, but my boy Marcus, he sure didn't. Rip Marcus. He will be forgotten. He will always be remembered as a good unit. A oh boy, Pors, though! And then Dorothy. Not that I really cared much about Dorothy. I didn't really use her much at all. Oh, yeah, you, you two, you both died. Uh... <laughs> um... Yeah, we don't talk about that. Oh, and Shauna died too. We don't talk about that either. You got, like, cocked hardcore. Early game was not friendly to me. Like how Noah died in Chapter 7. Oh, and yeah, because this is the other path. File. Trek lived instead of Noah. I should have just, like, sacrificed Trek. Oh, and then Wendy, who didn't fight once, and then Bart, who didn't fight once, because I didn't use them all in Chapter 8, and I didn't use them at all. At all. And you lived. And so did Shin, but, you know, he was just kind of there, because I had to use Tate for Ilya Path. Traveled the world as a thief, and then shitty fucking Sophia, I mean, what? Anyone else? Oh, well, there's Hugh, who's dead. And then Zeus, who helped Guinevere rebuild Burn. He was so low level, I couldn't use him! And then Yoder, who died in chapter 21. Sorry. But chapter 21 was a shit show. Finn. Not gonna lie, I said chapter 21 was a shit show, because it really was. All right, well that's it then. We finished the game, and we still have we have a sound room now, so we literally got like yeah you know, music, like this one and this and this. And this. And this one. And this. Okay, we're gonna stop real quick. Because there's still this. Trial maps. I'm doing this in a separate video because I have to make notes for this. That and I'm pretty sure there are things I can't do with the trial maps yet. So... Next time, we're gonna have a bonus video! Something we didn't have a Blazing Sword outside of that death montage that took 40 minutes. 
well, it took longer for me to make it, but, you know, it was 40 minutes or so, but this one's probably going to be longer, but, you know, you know what I mean! Anyway, I'll see you next time!